Ray tells KTVU tonight they don't want to believe his fatal car crash was a suicide. KTVU's Deborah Villalone is live now in Petaluma, where 19-year-old Danny Cox had been making progress with his rehabilitation. Deborah. Well, we're outside the family restaurant where posters were already up for a second annual benefit golf tournament for Danny Cox. It will go on, but as a memorial event. Danny Cox was back in the driver's seat, paralyzed from the chest down. Hand controls had him driving his beloved Dodge. But after only a week with his new license, Danny crashed into a tree on Highway 101 near Nevada. He died instantly. High speed, no signs of braking. The CHP today quizzed his family about Danny's mood, probing the possibility of suicide. The answer to that doesn't matter. <laughs> And he had his life here, and we got an extra year with him. He didn't pass away on that beach. The beach at Lake Tahoe was where Danny broke his neck in a shallow dive last August, but soon dedicated himself to recovery. I just want to be better now. It's only been two weeks, but it feels like it's been so much more. We were just in the process of fixing this room up. We're going to rip out the carpet. His parents, with community help, had modified a backyard apartment for him. Danny was enthused about it, they say, and encouraged that two trips to Panama for stem cell injections had seemed to help. His right tricep came back, and his pinky was moving. I mean, he was he was coming back. But on the other side of that, he, he hated living life in a wheelchair. He hated it. And Danny had been feeling down as the one-year anniversary of his paralysis approached. Whether he lost control or living with a broken body broke his spirit. His fight is what they'll remember. He touched a lot of people. A lot of people. Um, he gave us great joy. I, I, I am so proud of my son. This Sunday, a public memorial service will be held at 1 o'clock at Petaluma High School on the track where Danny Cox excelled. Live in Petaluma, Deborah Villalone, KTVU, Channel 2 News.